Now to the man they're calling the con man with the lot. He's ripped off, cheated on and lied to more people than you can imagine. Live to reporter Tim Arvian now with the quite jaw-dropping details. Tim? Yes, Tracy. Well, in fact, just moments ago, police actually arrived here at John Elby's house and drove up the driveway. But it's really hard to comprehend just how one man can do so much to so many people. And it's not until you sit down with John Elby's victims and hear their shocking stories that you can really understand what this despicable con man has been up to. Now, this property, of course, is where John lives and also where he runs his dodgy electrical company from. But unfortunately for him, we've uncovered evidence of illegal behaviour that could send him to jail. I've been ripped off by John Elvey. 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 He's a tenant from hell. We've, We've been, been ripped, ripped off, off by John, John Elvey. Elvey. I've been ripped off by John Elvey. Could I please make an appointment with John Elvey? I've been ripped off by John Elvey. Not happy about it. John, are you going to pay Joe back? The number of people that he's ripped off is limitless. I've been ripped off by John Elvey. I've been ripped off by John Elvey, and I'm his wife. John Elvey, what a surprise to see you here. Oh, yeah. He's a vicious, scheming con man who'll do anything to take your money. What are you doing? What are you doing? Excuse me! Assault, stealing, fraud, bankruptcies, domestic violence, performing electrical work without a licence, even parking in disabled spaces. This convicted criminal does it all. Why are you parked in a disabled spot, John? You don't look very disabled. Hey, can you answer some questions, John? I want him stopped from hurting women and innocent people, charities. Quite frankly, John Elvey is one of the most ruthless con men we've ever seen here at ACA. What's worse is that no one is safe from him. Not his friends, not his wives, not even his children. He's ripped off businesses, landlords, employees, employers, innocent families, even charities. But tonight, we expose his scams, catch him in the act and show you how he keeps doing it. Why do you keep scamming people, John? How many... Why you f***ing leave him alone? Hey, get away from him! Leave him alone! It's the hidden camera sting this lying, cheating thief never saw coming. And what you're about to see is the evidence that could finally put him in jail. But we're also wanting to get some PowerPoints put in. Um, so we're thinking maybe one here, yeah. if that's possible. To anybody who meets John Alvey, Right, do not believe a word that man says to you. In fact, John Elvey is so unbelievably bad, it's like he's a combination of every crook we've ever exposed on this show. He's a deadbeat dad who beat up his former partner and refused to pay child support to the children he abandoned. A husband who left his last wife and stepdaughter penniless and bankrupt. A heartless friend who takes money needed for life-saving medication. A bad boss who doesn't pay his workers and assaults his contractors. A dishonest employee who steals from family businesses. A serial defaulter who's failed to pay back more than half a million dollars. He's a fraudster who gives fake donations to charities. A tenant from hell who's put multiple homeowners through the cleaners. A dodgy tradie who keeps working without a licence. A hoon who's racked up thousands in traffic fines. And a man who's ripped off countless innocent families so he can throw parties and live in luxury. I just wanted to die, to be honest. He hurt me because I loved him. Stephanie Riding is the mother of John Elvey's son. She lived with him in England and says he's violent and unpredictable, just bashing her if he didn't like what she gave him for dinner. He knocked it on the floor. Within seconds, he got it all of my hair and was rubbing my face in it on the floor. That severely, that I got carpet burns, which took my skin off my face. What about Stephanie Riding? She says you bashed her, John, and took all her money. What about your history in England? We know you went to jail. We know you've paid no child support. You want to move away, please? After a stint in jail, John Elvey fled England with Stephanie's cash, leaving behind debts and children who've never seen him or their mother's money again. My money was gone. I was gone, wasn't I? I didn't mean anything to him anymore. I was just damaged goods, as he said to me. 
John Elvey also has several ex-wives in Australia, but they're too afraid to show their face on camera. This is his second wife who he bankrupted. She witnessed firsthand John cheating customers as an electrician and working without a licence. Well, as far as I knew, he had an electrical licence, which I found out he never did when he put our house on fire. But she's not the only homeowner to suffer at the hands of John Elvey. It affected me relationship at the time, it affected me job, it affected everything. Luke Shikovietsky says he's lost at least $130,000 after renting out his house to frauds to John Elvey, who completely trashed it. When he left, he took the air conditioning units out of the house, left holes in the walls, power points were ripped out. David Lawson has a similar story after renting John Elvey his home. Out of pocket, I'm probably around 10 grand. You trashed David's house, John. Why leave him alone? You trashed David's house and didn't pay Real estate agents like Barry Myatt say they and their customers have also been ripped off. Couldn't get money out of him. He kept it bobbing, ducking, weaving, changing um, location, changing jobs, changing everything. Just kind of all and I'm really embarrassed about it. Kevin and Brenda Brady are John Elvey's former friends and volunteers at Brisbane's Bayside Football Club. They met when John promised to do electrical work and donate equipment to the children's teams. Instead, they got a bill for $16,000. He sent a letter saying that he donated all this and he was charging us for it. But worse was to come. The Bradys had given John a personal loan of $5,000. Kevin, in the meantime, had got extremely ill and the medication was costing us a lot of money. Kevin needed a liver transplant, but not even that could make John Elvey repay the money. He's sly and he, he just didn't care. What about Kevin and Brenda? You took the money that Kevin needed to pay for medications. John Elvey's electrical career has also burnt countless others. Damien Tormata was a contractor who John Elvey attacked when he asked to be paid. And hard-working innocent employees like Karen Cross and Joshua Clark never got their wages owed either. Joshua Clark's car got repossessed because of you. Yeah. Are you going to pay him back? John Elvey's past employers have also told the current affair they fired him for stealing equipment. John, how many times have you been sacked for stealing? Mark, Joe and Sid run small businesses, but John Elvey left each of them thousands of dollars out of pocket, refusing to pay for goods he'd received. For small business, or for any business, but for small business it really hurts because you have to trust people. What about Joe and his business? Hey, are you going to pay Joe back? What about Sid? John Elvey also promised money to charities like St John Ambulance, but then cancelled the checks. <laughs> He's scum. Worthless human being. So how does he keep getting away with it? Well, our researchers found he runs a complex web of companies. And despite being bankrupt six times, John Elvey continues to act as a director or secretary of at least six of these companies. It's against the law to do this while you're bankrupt, but we've identified eight different occasions on which he has. And each offence is punishable with a year in jail and heavy fines. John Elvey, how are you going? Now, we've got all your bankruptcies here. Yeah. We've actually got details from ASIC about how you were a director of companies while you were bankrupt. Can you tell us how you set that up? No. Why not? I don't know nothing about it. Really? Well, why, how come you're the director then? You know, it's criminal. You could go to jail for that. John Elvey uses these companies to open businesses like his current one, Electrosafe. He runs up massive debts and then runs away. Hey, John, why don't you answer some questions, mate? But the deceit doesn't stop there. John Elvey lists the local post office as his Electrosafe place of business and his advertised electrical licence number is actually registered to a man named Christopher Ronald Furlong. Yet Electrosafe head office has never heard of him. Christopher Furlong doesn't work at Electrosafe? No, I've never heard of anyone by that name. So we booked a job with Electrosafe. John Elvey and his offsider Adam Goodsir turn up Neither have electrical licences. Yeah, all right, what are we doing? They start checking out the property before John Elvey gets the fright of his life. John Elvey, what a surprise to see you here. Oh, yeah. See this document here? Yeah. It's from the Electrical Safety Office. Yeah. And it says you don't have a licence to be doing this sort of work. Oh, really? Yes, well. What's up? John Elvey produces what could only be a fake electrical licence, according to the Electrical Safety Office records. I can't see any record of any cards or interstate cards that he could possibly have. 
So how long have you been working without a license for? I have been working without a license. Realising he's been caught red-handed, this conniving con man does yet another runner, trying to lock us in the fire escape John, open the door. before shoving our female producer and fleeing. What are you doing? Excuse me! But unless authorities take any action against John Elvey, he'll keep opening more businesses, leasing more innocent victims and carrying out more dangerous electrical work. And the only way you can protect yourself is by remembering this name and this face. Do you have no shame, John? No remorse? No guilt? Have you got none? What do you say to the innocent families you've taken money from? And we have sent the evidence of John Elvey's illegal behaviour to the Australian Securities and Investments Commission. Its response and that of the Electrical Safety Office are both on our website.